it's just so, you know, frustrated because you have to go to house to house and house and house, and then you're finally where you want to be and then move again. That's been life for this eight-year-old since she was a toddler. Krista may still be a little girl, but she's had to deal with some grown-up issues. It was very tough because my mom, she was doing bad things, and she, um, she just didn't care about me or my brothers. Can you imagine being a child who rarely felt protected? So it just growled at me and then bit me. The scar you see here, Krista was attacked by the family dog when she was a baby. She's had several surgeries on her lip and face. While some wounds heal faster than others, Krista's heart is healing. She's now ready to get off the foster care merry-go-round. Do you know what adoption means? They go to the judge, the court, and like get some papers and sign them and you're their kid forever. Mm -hmm. She told me all about the big word adoption on our trip to the park to do some of her favorite things. She wanted to play makeup. Let me give you some apple cheeks. You like mine, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and pretend she's our next American Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Krista. Boom, 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 boom. I want to be on American Idol. You do? Yes. You want to be the next idol? Yeah. Why? Because... Simon's so mean and grumpy. I know. He's just a mean old man, but I can take it. She's been through so much in her young years, I believe she can take on Simon. And she's also ready to take on the world, right alongside a mom and a dad who will cheer her on. I like to dress up our sing, dance. Krista just needs a loving, guiding hand to help her along and finally let this kid just be a kid. So a karate kick in model who sings. <laughs> <laughs> Prime Osborne Convention Center. He's out there enjoying all the fun. And Paul, it looks like you've picked out a boat for yourself there. Dawn, I have picked out a boat. This is a Monterey. It's 24 feet long. So I think that's big enough. I don't need anything much bigger than that. You know, boats have really come a long way. This is a beautiful boat. It's about $65,000 and some change, something like that. It's all trimmed out in the wood grain. I think I could pick out this boat and pretty, be pretty happy with it. Uh, like you said, for 57 years, Jacksonville Marine Association has been having this boat show. And uh, it just gets bigger and bigger every single year. Now, the doors are just now opening. It's 12 o'clock, just after 12, so they just now opened. And this is CBS 47 Family Fun Night. So uh, from 6 to 9, you're going to be able to come out here and uh, see what's going on. And we've got something for your family. I want to introduce you to Melinda Gallup. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Paul. So tell us a little bit about the life jackets. Well, tonight we're giving life jackets away to the first 150 children that come to the boat show and for Channel 47 night. This is a really big event. Now tell me a little bit about the boat show. You get, this has grown every single year. You've been working on this for, for a number of years. Why do you think it continues to just get bigger and bigger? Well, Jacksonville is so blessed to have so many waterways. And we count anywhere from saltwater to freshwater. You can ski, fish. Just tail for a family boat ride. We have the Kingfish Tournament, Light Parade, Fireworks. It's just everything you can do with your family, and it's family fun. And a big time. Again, tonight is CBS 47 Family Fun Night. It's going to go from 6 until 9. Now, the boat show goes until Sunday. Until Sunday. So uh, you got plenty of time to get out here. And let's talk about these life jackets for just a second. It's the first 150 kids uh, get a chance to get one of these life jackets. Just come and pick them up. And uh, JSO is actually going to be out here, and uh, they're going to help kids uh, put them on properly. Uh, because that's really an important thing. You've got to put your life jackets on right so they work just right. You see some information right there. Uh, again, it's the first 150 kids, a free life jacket. And uh, t tonight is CBS 47 Family Fun Night. And we want everybody to come out and take a look at all of these boats because they are certainly, certainly beautiful. Dawn, let me send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Paul. Well, we have found a place that says they can take off the pounds without any gimmicks, just science and hard work. So, we're put into the test. Tonight, 
that'd be Susan Kelly is pretty much like a lot of people. She's 39, she's married, two kids, and a full-time job. We work lots of late nights, and I get home late. We have a lot of takeout food. And, and she's also a little overweight, about 21 pounds. That's where the Hit Center is stepping in. There's no potions, there's no gimmicks. Uh, it's just hard work and science. The Hit Center is one of Jacksonville's newest healthy body development centers. Aaron Marstone knows how a lot of people go to the gym. Most people that sign up for a gym membership never go to the gym, or they go for the first two weeks and then they never go back. Oh, probably about a week or two before you get tired of it. Welcome to the Bod Pod. Please open the door. But here at the Hit Center, they use science and one-on-one -on -one training. What gives us an edge is the science behind the protocols. So for the next month, we're going to follow Susan and the science from the Bod Pod and beyond. It's all on our path to lose 21 pounds. If we can drop 10 pounds the right way over the course of a month uh, and make it weight that's going to stay off, that's what our goal is. And we're going to talk Very about the Bod Pod and all of those things I on know, Thursday. What does it do? Today we are talking about nutrition, and as you'll see, they both work hand in hand. <laughs> Susan Kelly's quest to lose weight and tone up means much more than just sweating. It's not just working out in here, it's, it's the total nutrition and, you know, working out and it's the total package. At the High Intensity Training Center, they put Susan on a diet that deals with calories. So we're going to put this over your, over your head, and you can just breathe normal. I'm By using the science of arresting metabolism, the Hit Center found that Susan was burning 1,200 calories while resting. So 1,200 calories is all she's allowed to eat. We've put her on a diet uh, for about 12, 1,300 calories. Uh, doesn't see, sound like a whole lot. Uh, she was currently taking him before about 1,800 calories a day. But you might be surprised to see Susan can eat things like omelets and any green leafy vegetables as well as... Foods like chili, beans, uh, your meats, uh, dairies, uh, all those types of foods, nuts. So what's she got to stay away from? Simple sugars, uh, white breads, uh, rice cakes, the famous diet food, very high on the glycemic index. We try to steer away from those. Um, even foods like carrots, very high on the glycemic index. Susan says she's not finding herself hungry, but she is eating better. And bottom line, it's working. I'm, I'm eating less, but I'm eating better. Now on a daily basis, instead of taking in more calories than she's burning out, now we're burning out more calories than she's taking in, and we're losing weight. She is she doing a great job hanging in there. So in there. Tough to do. Chef Ratazal from Cafe Carman says just follow his lead. Fresh flounder. Oh, that's beautiful, Chef. Very what are we going to do today? Today we're going to um, tempura fry it, mm -hmm. um, which is definitely a, a, a lighter technique of frying instead of the um, old way that everyone basically knows, like my grandmother cooks it. Exactly. With cornmeal. Here in the, <laughs> with cornmeal, yeah, exactly. With corn. <laughs> in, the, in the South, we love fried fish, but you want to show us a different way of doing it, and will it be, it'll be lighter as well, right? Definitely. This is a, 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 a new approach to uh, frying food, basically. It has an Asian-influenced tempura batter. Uh, it's made with egg whites, actually, which mm -hmm. uh, gives it the light, airy um, feel to it, and um, causes it not to hold the oil as much as, uh, as opposed to frying it in oil itself. Um, we batter it, drop it right in the fryer, takes two to three minutes to cook, depending upon the fish. Here we've used flounder, which is very thin, uh, so it'll cook very quickly. And uh, we pulled that right up, and it's all set. And that's it. And you actually love this because it doesn't hold grease, you told me earlier. Right, definitely. Uh, this technique with the batter itself, um, it, it does not hold the oil. The oil basically drips right off. Um, 
you know, this is one of the biggest sellers here at the restaurant, the Tempura Flounder. People love it. It's fabulous. Wow. You have to try this at home. Wonderful. Show me how to do it at home. Okay. And here we have the fresh flounder filet going right into the batter itself. You gotta get your hands dirty here for a minute. Don't worry, it washes right off. Right into the, the batter, which is basically made again with rice flour, egg whites, water. You wanna make sure your oil is very hot, otherwise uh, it will not fry crisp and it will be oiling. The key is having hot oil. Uh, the best thing is to purchase a, um, a thermometer for, made for cooking called a biotherm. Place that right in the oil. Um, ideal, 350 degrees. Okay. Once the oil is at that point, you can fry anything. Very light, crisp. You can purchase one of those little um, thermometers anywhere in the, any cooking store. Here we have it. Tempura flounder. It looks beautiful. Yes, this is how we serve the tempura flounder here at the restaurant. We serve it with sauteed spinach, bamboo shoots, hearts of palm, and a mango papaya salsa. Wow, that looks that looks good. Go ahead oh. and try it. Dig in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now tell me, what makes this batter so light? It is so light. Yes, uh, the key ingredients here is rice flour. You have to use rice flour as opposed to AP flour or baker's flour. Rice flour gives it the light, very light coating that you can purchase at any of the local Asian markets around town. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the basic recipe there is egg. Mm -hmm. Normally we use about four egg yolks, uh, rice flour and water. Mix it until it's about the, the consistency that I showed you earlier. That keeps it very light, simple. <laughs> that's, that's essential. You have to have um, an oil at about 350 degrees. We use peanut oil here because it has a high degree of smoke point. You can't use olive oil for this. It has to be peanut or grapeseed oil. That's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. A beautiful dish. I love how you prepare it here. For that recipe or cooking tips, just email chef at his web address.